Hi again. Um, well, the next poems uh, are not very related to the theme, but um, I've always had an interest in material objects and the triviality behind them. Um, and I like to use them as kind of anchors and tangible proof of abstract things like emotions and relationships. So this is what these next poems are about. Matters of infinite importance. The non-idiots are Jack Slacan. If Gogol were alive now, he would have been a fashionista. He knew that the meaning of everything was rooted in the garment of the stranger next to you and in its mystifying movement. He would have abandoned himself to a glowing pair of high heels passing through Nevsky Prospect like Christian Louboutin in Paris at age 13 and not notice he was following a prostitute. I believe at some point he was like his Piscarev, mistaking glitter for gold. And he ended up rushing out headlong like a wild goat at the realization. It's all there, in the shoe, in the overcoat. The rest is not important. So this is just to introduce the coat. C8 AD7F in appearance. Medium, presumably. Synthetic, or at least some polyester was involved. Stiff as an ironing board. Rather sleek. As in, I'm having a paralysis, but I believe my affairs are in order. <laughs> Pussy. Borderline Benetton teddy bear texture. Falling to the knees in prayer to protect you from the devil in the detail. Here is everything I ever wanted to tell you. Do not wash. Not all the fabric shavers in the world will help you. So if badly stained, I would suggest a gentle rinse in a wool light bucket. I thought I'd never read the coat. After reading through just a few items of your catalog, you really outdid yourself in this one. All neatly wrapped like a Christmas present. I've been pilfering matters of little consequence upon my first readings. Now it's safe to say, I know the book by heart. Reality glows through illusion. Like gold. Without this realization, we went out headlong into the night like wild goats. Thank you. Yeah.